Next, let's look at the document creation wizard, another key part of the ISO 19650 framework. So I can drag and drop files or multiple files from my local machine into ProjectWise if I have some that I need to copy in, uh, and that will invoke the wizard. The other way to use the wizard is to right click, go to new, document, and this is the wizard. So if we step through this, firstly, we're going to be asked which folder would we like to create the document in. Um, this is the folder I've chosen. I can change it here if I need to. Next, it's asking me for a template. So you may have templates in a, in a folder for um, seed files or template files, so you can use one of those. If you've used it before, you'd see it in the recent list. Um, so I'm going to use this DGN as my template. And then I'm going to fill out these details as necessary. So choose your originator code. Again, your list will, be, it will differ to mine here. Uh, choose the appropriate code. Next, choose the zone or asset from the drop-down list. I don't actually have any uh, information in here. So I'll choose 00, zero and then level or location. So I'm going to choose ZZ here for multiple levels. M3 is the code for 3D model. So that is fixed because of the folder that we've created the document in. And A is the code for architect for the role. And again, that's fixed because we created it within this architect folder. Next, we click generate. And this gives us the next available number that hasn't been used before. So that happens to be 19 because I've already got uh, 1 to 18 created in that, in that folder. And we go to next. We might want to change the description and call this concept design. We don't need to fill in a version here because we're using the rules engine, which supersedes the project wise versioning system. So just leave that blank. And then we're presented with this attribute page. At this point, I don't have to fill in anything. Um, but these are required fields and the requirements are not enforced until we move away from work in progress. So you could uh, skip past this page and then fill out those attributes later on. It would be recommended to fill them out now if possible. So I'm going to put a title, a scale and a sheet size. Um, and I will leave the revision note just so I can show you what happens if we don't fill out all of the required information. And this information is really important so that we have integrity within all of the documents in the system. We go to next and next. And this is just, just a sort of checking page to show us all of the um, settings that we've, we've set. And then it will create our document. So there's my newly created document, work in progress, state suitability of S0 and revision P01.01. So from here, I can double click, open up the file in its native application and start to work.